got a feeling we've been grassed up by that fucking sled, Dennis. I don't know. I don't know why. I just do. He's got to go. Listen, man. You don't know that for sure. Calm down, all right? Calm down. Calm down, George. Listen. Every day, every meeting, no matter where we are, that fucker is there. Listen, let me make some discreet inquiries. Let me see what's what, and then we'll take it from there, yeah, bro? Discreet inquiries? I'll tell you this right now. Right, he's a liability. He's fucking got to go. Yeah, he's, he's got a family though, mate. Come on, he's got three kids, and, and you're pretty close with his old dear. I don't give a fuck about his old dear. I don't, I really don't. Fuck him. He could, do you know what? I've known him 20 years. Yeah. And that cunt, I can't believe. He would do that to me. Put out the light, then put out the light, if I quench thee, thy flaming minister. I can again thy former light restore. Should I repent me, that once put out thy light, thy cunningest pattern of excelling nature? I know not where that Prohethean heat that thy light can rekindle. When I pluck the rose, I cannot give it vital growth again. Its needs must wither, I smell it on the tree. O oh, balmy breath, thou dost almost persuade justice to break her sword. They chain themselves to many gates, the Emilies and all their mates. They picked up stones and they took their aim at any government window frame. Now, government buildings were in vogue, as Emily would say, till the police came along and took her away, force fed by tube and cup. They knew she'd never give up. The tube, like a fishing float, pushed right down Emily's throat. All for the right to vote.